Welcome to Shah Medical Surgical. Today, we will talk about urethral stricture, a condition where the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the body, becomes abnormally narrow. This narrowing can make it difficult to pass urine and, if left untreated, may lead to serious complications. In this video, we'll explore what urethral stricture is, its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and the available treatment options. So this happens when that tube gets tight, urine can't flow freely, and that leads to a lot of problems. It's much more common in men than women, and if it's ignored, it can damage the bladder and even the kidneys. Normal urethra. Normally, the urethra is wide enough to let urine pass easily. The bladder fills, you go to the washroom, and it empties without much effort. That's how it should work. But when the urethra narrows, it feels like trying to push water through a straw that's pinched, it's just not smooth anymore. What is stricture? A stricture is basically a scar. Scar tissue builds up inside the urethra, and instead of being a flexible tube, part of it becomes stiff and narrow. Some men have a short, mild narrowing, while others may have a long or even completely blocked segment. The tighter the stricture, the worse the symptoms. Causes of urethral stricture There are many reasons strictures happen. Some men get it after an injury, like a fall or a road accident that hurt the pelvis. Others develop it after medical procedures, especially if catheters were used repeatedly. Infections, particularly untreated sexually transmitted infections, can also scar the urethra, and sometimes, surgery around the prostate or bladder can leave behind scar tissue that narrows the passage. Symptoms The first thing most people notice is a weak urine stream. Instead of flowing strongly, the urine trickles or sprays. Starting urination can be difficult, and it often takes longer than normal to finish. Some men get repeated urinary infections because the bladder isn't emptying properly. More symptoms. There may also be pain or burning while urinating. Some patients feel like they still have urine left inside even after going to the bathroom. Blood in the urine can appear in some cases. And when the blockage is more serious, swelling in the penis or scrotum can happen because urine backs up. Severe cases. When the narrowing is very tight, urine can stop flowing completely. This is called urinary retention. It's extremely painful and needs emergency treatment. Over time, the bladder stretches and gets weaker, and the kidneys may suffer damage if the problem continues. Risk factors. Men are at higher risk, especially those who had a urethral injury or surgery in the past. People who have had frequent infections or long-term catheter use are also more vulnerable. These are the patients doctors usually watch more closely. Diagnosis methods. The first step is listening to the patient, what symptoms they have and how long they've had them. A physical exam may give some clues. But tests are needed to confirm it. Doctors often use urine flow tests, imaging studies, or a small camera test called cystoscopy to see exactly where the blockage is. Imaging tests. One of the most common imaging tests is a retrograde urethrogram, where dye is put into the urethra and an X-ray shows where the narrowing is. Sometimes avoiding cystourethrogram is done to watch the urethra while the patient urinates. Ultrasound can also help. All these tests show the length and position of the stricture, which is important for treatment planning. Uroflowmetry In this simple test, the patient urinates into a special machine. It measures how fast the urine comes out and how much. A very low or interrupted flow usually means something is blocking the passage. Cystoscopy Cystoscopy is one of the clearest ways to see a stricture. A thin, flexible camera is gently inserted into the urethra, usually under local anesthesia. The doctor can look directly at the narrowing and decide what treatment will work best. Treatment options Treatment depends on how short or long the stricture is and how severe the symptoms are. The main options are dilation, internal urethrotomy, and urethroplasty. Sometimes, a catheter is needed after these procedures to help the urethra heal. Urethral dilation Dilation is like gently stretching the urethra with special instruments. It can give relief, but the problem often comes back, especially with longer or tougher strictures. It's usually used for simple, short ones. Optical internal urethrotomy. 
Here, a small scope is used to cut through the scar tissue and open the passage. It's a relatively quick procedure, and patients usually recover fast. But again, the stricture can return, so follow-up is very important. Urethroplasty, open surgery. For longer or stubborn strictures, urethroplasty is the best solution. This is open surgery where the scarred part of the urethra is repaired. Sometimes the surgeon uses tissue from inside the mouth, called a buccal mucosa graft, to rebuild the urethra. This procedure has the highest success rate and usually gives long-lasting results. Catheter management. After most procedures, a catheter is left in place for a while. It keeps the urethra open and allows proper healing. The length of time a catheter stays in depends on the type of surgery done. Regular checkups ensure healing is going well. Post-treatment care. Patients are advised to drink plenty of fluids to keep the urine clear and prevent infection. Avoiding unnecessary catheter use in the future is important. Doctors also stress follow-up visits because strictures can sometimes return. Complications of untreated stricture. If not treated, strictures can cause repeated infections, bladder stones, and back pressure on the kidneys. This pressure can lead to swelling of the kidneys, known as hydronephrosis, and in severe cases, kidney failure. Quality of life. Apart from medical risks, strictures affect daily life. Constant bathroom trips, pain, and weak flow can cause frustration and embarrassment. Intimacy and sexual function may also be affected, leading to stress and anxiety. Prevention tips. Not every stricture can be prevented, but there are ways to reduce risk, avoiding unnecessary catheterization, practicing safe sex, and treating infections early all help. Getting medical help right after a urethral injury also makes a difference. Prognosis. The outcome depends on the treatment chosen. Dilation and urethrotomy are easier but often temporary. Urethroplasty takes more effort but offers the best long-term cure. Patients who seek treatment early usually recover well and avoid major complications. Patient counseling. Doctors spend time explaining treatment options and what patients can expect. It's important for patients to understand that strictures may come back and that regular follow-up is part of the journey. Lifestyle advice, like staying hydrated and looking out for early symptoms, also helps. Urethral stricture is a narrowing of the urine passage caused by scar tissue. The main symptoms are weak stream, difficulty urinating, and repeated infections. Diagnosis is made through flow tests, imaging, and cystoscopy. Treatments include dilation, internal cutting, and surgery, with urethroplasty giving the best results. With the right care, most patients do very well. If you or someone you know is struggling with slow urine flow or difficulty urinating, don't ignore it. Urethral stricture is a treatable condition, but delaying care can harm the bladder and kidneys. Talk to a urologist, get the right tests, and know that effective treatments are available. With proper care, you can get back to normal life. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.